And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the main scenario of Stormblood. And as always, hello from Mifri. So we are on the quest now, making the catfish sing. And we are at the Ruby Bazaar in Kugane. So let's talk to Lees. So Lees would like to ask Goyodo a few questions. So right then, Goyodo should be coming around soon. I think it's time we had a little chat, don't you? Cool. So let's get this done. So it's about time I carried on with the story at this point. Why not? So rise and shine, little fishy. I know you can hear me, so stop pretending to be asleep or I'll give you another ride on my boot. No, 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 no more boots. All my secrets are yours for the asking. Tell us what you know about Yugiri and Gosetsu. Every last detail. And if I find out later you lied to me... No, no, no more lies. The clear, unvarnished truth. You have my word. Only the samurai did I meet. Yes, yes, only him. He asked after a ship, so I provided an introduction to the Garleans. You mean you led him into a trap, as you did us, because you are an Imperial spy? No, no, I am no spy. It was just business. Fewer ships pass through Kugane these days, and we have struggled to make ends meet. So when the Garleans offered a bounty for any dolmens found in Kugane... Oh, my mistake. You're not a spy, but a common cutthroat. Not that I'm surprised. You need half a brain to be a spy. So, what happened to the samurai? Such a cruel, vicious tongue you have. He would not go quietly, no, no. Blades were drawn, men were cut down. The uh, Seksu Gumi came. They took the samurai away. Hold on a moment. You mean to tell me that the Ijin they arrested the other day was Gosetsu? Oh, had I but known, if he is in the custody of the SEC, I need only see to it that the requisite funds find their way into the right official's hands, and your friend will be will walk free. So, as it is in Alda, so it is in Kugane, but given the circumstances, it seems that we have no choice but to resort to morally questionable means. We'll make a pragmatist of you yet, Master Alphanode. Okay, so now let's talk to Hancock. So, you are free to wait here while I speak with the relevant official, but if you would rather wait for Gosetsu outside the barracks, we can go together. I want to put it past the Imperials to try something again, so mayhap it would be best if Lee, Smithry and I joined you. Alright. But what about Gyodo? I will keep an eye on him for the time being. We can release um, him after you return with Gosetsu. He will doubtless have some choice words to say to the little fellow. Uh, Soroban, mayhap it would be prudent to prepare your ship for your, uh, our immediate departure. As you wish. Everything is in order, then let us be off. The Sek Barracks are to the north. Okay, so let's do this. So, hopefully we'll finally get through Kugane. I I really have delayed this, but, you know, whatever. Let's just get it done. So, we need to go all the way to there. Actually, we could teleport to the barracks, so let's just do that instead. So, A for now, barracks, there we go. Alright, okay, so we saved ourselves some time. Let's talk to Hancock. So, I must ask that you wait here. You may be assured that this will not take long. Okie dokie. So, is it really going to be as simple as he says, do you think? Guess we'll see. 
So waiting, waiting. Uh, he said it wouldn't take long, right? Because this feels a bit long to me. Calm down, Lisa. Everything is going to be all right. Much as I hate to admit it, I share Hancock's dim view of the government officials and their supposed incorruptibility. From what I've gleaned of the Far East, they're probably exchanging lengthy pleasantries. There seems to be a correct way of, to do everything here, bribery being no exception. I say we leave them to it, right, Mifri? Okie dokie. So, right, right, everything's fine. Probably, I mean. It couldn't be as bad as the last time we stood around waiting for something to happen. You speak too soon, my dear. Interesting. You. Ah! What's that? That was Gazetsu. I'm sure of it. He's in trouble. Lise, wait. I suppose we should follow her then. Yeah, I'm Mifri, yeah, I agree, yeah. Are they training? Yeah, they're using wooden swords. Victory to the samurai! <laughs> How many is that now? Ten in a row! Kazetsu! Oh! This is a surprise! What in blue blazes are you three doing here? I could ask you the same thing. We've been looking all over for you, and then I suddenly heard you screaming. Hmm, it would seem there has been a misunderstanding. Allow me to explain. So, in summary, you started a brawl with some off-duty Imperial soldiers and were subsequently arrested by the Sekisukumi, whom you somehow befriended and convinced to set you free if you could defeat a given number of them in single combat. It's almost like a trial by combat like they have in the Heaven's Sword. It is but a pity you came too late to witness the last one. And with that, I'm free to go, yes? Our word once given may not be broken, but we pray you make every effort to avoid future altercations. Circumstances notwithstanding, my lord, we are honored and grateful to have witnessed firsthand the skill of a Dormer Samurai. And we had just concluded negotiations. I gather my assistance was not required. He's like, har 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 har. to go setsu so once more to the ruby sea for a man who has just defeated 10 samurai in a row gosetsu is looking rather sheepish 
So I must apologize that you endured such trials and tribulations in search of me. There's no need for that. You had no way of knowing we would come looking for you. You were after a ship to take you to Doma, yes? It just so happens that we have found a willing captain. Truly, what fortune. We will tell you all about it back at the company offices. Alphanod and Sataru are waiting for us there. Okay, so I need to go to the Ruby Bazaar. Let's go. So, was I all this time? Was I really just two quests away from the Ruby Sea? Oh dear. Ah, hang on. Oh yeah, I need to talk to the guy to actually let me in. Kazetsu, find the 12 you are unharmed. As you can see, Master Alpha Node, I am the very picture of health. You vile fiend, malevolent trickster, how kind the Gami are to grant me vengeance so soon. But first, I demand you return the coin you so villainous, villainously embezzled from me. You have every right to be angry, good sir. Gladly would I return you your coin had I not been forced to repay certain gambling debts beforehand. Seeing that matter aside for the moment, where is Lady Yugiri? She was not travelling with you? For a time I, but we parted ways some t while ago. The better to improve our chances of finding Lord Hain. Lord Hain? Forgive me, I have yet to explain. Lord Hain is the heir to Doma's throne and our master. His was a passionate voice for the cause of Doma liberation, and when we learned of the Emperor's death, it only grew louder. So you seized upon the opportunity and rose up to reclaim your freedom, only for your hopes to be dashed when Xenos led his army onto your lands. The Crown Prince was a merciless foe. Against him, the might of the Twelfth, we had no chance. Once Lord Heen understood this, he bade Yugiri take to the sea with as many of our people as possible. He, however, would stand and fight that they might have more time to escape. I remained by his side as well, and together we carried on our doomed war. And then one day, in a fierce battle, we were separated. I knew not what became of him, only that he was beyond the Empire's reach, and that to find him, I would need Yugiri's help. The situation grows more perilous by the day, for the new Viceroy, uh, Yosuyo, um, is a black-haired villainess who delights in the torment of our people. There is naught she would not do to further her pursuit of Lord Hain. Thank you, I believe that makes matters a good deal clearer. It should uh, pleasure you to learn that we are come to aid the Dome and Liberation Front in resuming their efforts to overthrow their Imperial oppressors. Then allow me to join you, my inquiries here bore no fruit, hence my desire to return to Ofad. Once there, I can lead you to our headquarters in uh, Yangtzea, where we shall all be reunited with Yugiri. Mayhap not all, Alphanode's talents would seem better applied here in Kugane, working closely with Tataru and Hancock to feed us intelligence. There is a Guardian embassy just down the road after all. While I appreciate the vote of confidence, I should be glad to accompany you all. As a soldier in the field, so to speak, Come now, brother, a competent commander assigns his soldiers the task best suited to them. As you of all people should know, and you are so very good at espionage and intrigue. Uh, for we all must serve each in our own way. Very well. It would seem my place is here. 
Lol. I guess he's disappointed he can't go exploring. So, Soroban is waiting at the pier. Have fun, you lot. Uh, Mithri's gonna like walk into a wall. Right. So we now need to go to pier number two. So let's go there to the holstery. There it is. Good idea to try and use the Aethernet as much as possible. Just learn which is closest to what. And then before you know it, you'll be doing it without even thinking about it. So we have a nice gentle uh, sunset. Would be an interesting way to get into Ruby Sea, that's for sure. So, I've been waiting for you, my friends. All preparations have been completed, and my ship awaits its passengers. Shall we depart without further delay? Uh, after you? Uh, why not? Let's do it. So, if you insist, with me, everyone, the Ruby Sea awaits. Eee! A new zone! Wow. So let's see what the Ruby Sea looks like. Well, we made a little bit of progress. Remember the water, how it turned crimson in the morning sun. That's a big tower. A shimmering sea of rubies stretching from horizon to horizon. You could almost believe it went on forever. But beyond that red expanse lay a land in turmoil. On the shores of Ocar, our Doman brothers struggled in vain. Interesting, interesting. Talk to him. So, how wide and beautiful she is, the Ruby Sea, filled with promise and adventure and treasures. Many wonderful treasures. Cool. So, I got the achievement destination unknown. Next. So, the next quest is called Open Water, level 62. One does not simply cross the Ruby Sea, as Soroban well knows. Now, in order to reach the shores of Ophard, you will need to cross the resplendent waters you see before you. However, this is easier said than done. To set forth without making the necessary preparations is to invite the Confederacy to claim your vessel and your life should you resist. But this fate can be avoided by paying the ruby teeth, uh, thereby earning you the blessing of the pirate lords. So, let's go and greet them. Our destination is the Isle to the West. That doesn't look very far to me. Mifri, why don't we jump in and swim for it? I've um, had my fill of boats. Hmm, an excellent idea. I think you shall find the water to your liking. I will use my ship to deliver those less inclined to the Isle. Cool. So we're going to go swimming, yay! So we need to go to there. Now remember you can actually sprint. And do some quite powerful breaststroke in this water, so... It's nice that they finally added swimming. Like for people who've been playing Around Reborn since the beginning. It's nice that they added it in finally. So, right, this should be easy, and a good way to loosen up before the next fight, whenever it comes. 20 Gil says I beat you there. But I can't afford it. 
rigged. So, never mind. So, how big is the Ruby Sea? Oh, Jesus. The zones in this expansion are so huge. They really, really are. We so we're almost there. Maybe when I'm in the Ruby Sea, I can actually go ahead and unlock spear fishing at some. So here's Soroban. So ah, there you are. I trust you enjoyed yourselves. Follow me, my friends. The one with whom we must speak is a man named uh, Tansu. Or Tansu. Cool. So let's do it. Assuming we have to go up and up and up and up. Probably like the millionth player to reach this point of the, the game, but so what? Okay, here is Tansu. So I fear you have the advantage of me. Most honourable and esteemed Mithri Menafil, I am Tansu, a humble mate who serves at the pleasure of the Confederacy Captain. As you are in the company of the Shellback, I presume we have business to discuss? Yep. So the next quest is called Boys with Boats. The Tansu's face betrays nothing as he looks you up and down. So you wish to pay the ruby tithe, yes? With your gill, perhaps? Is it just... It's just as well. Foreign currencies are in demand these days. I would pay for their passage, Ophard. Does this sum meet with your satisfaction? The sea has been quite tempestuous of late. I cannot say with confidence that you would reach your destination safely, unless you tripled it. Do you take me for a fool? I know the price, as do we all. Alas, we live in interesting times. As you came through Gugane, I shall think I need not tell you that. The shadow of war looms. The, the wise and the cautious uh, shirk our waters, and our custom and the foolhardy sharpen their knives in anticipation. Meaning... Sir, sir, you've got to come quickly. The bastards, they're at it again. I tried to convince them to stop, but they weren't having it. Very well. I'll be there shortly. Uh, a proposition. Your comrades strike me as a worthwhile investment. I would not hear men name me a cat before Coburn, so I shall consider their tithe paid. Uh, not for what you have done, but what I expect they will do. I'm not sure what to make of the, that man. But at least the matter of the tithe is settled for now. What was... Um, what was that he and the other pirate were talking about? Maybe we ought to go and have a look. Okay. So I'm assuming we have a fight coming up. And if it's an outdoor fight, then hopefully we can use our chocobo as well. Now, obviously, because I'm recording the episode and I'm severely over-leveled, you know, that's why I'm sort of just rushing story to story. If this was my first time doing this, then I would spend the time to explore the zone, maybe do some fates, and so on. But for now, I'm just going to charge my way through. And we'll see what the next quest has in store for us. There's interesting fire mobs around here, that's for sure. And as I say, I'm sure we have a fight coming up. That's what it sounded like. Okay, are we... I think we're going the right way. Oh, wow, it's a level 70 mob right there. Okay. 
It's always interesting when you see sharks just floating on the beach. Hmm. Gentlemen, I'm told you are most unreceptive to my associate's requests. I realize you do not look kindly on the Confederacy and her ways, but if you refuse to pay the ruby tithe, <laughs> your safety in these waters cannot be assured. Spare me your concern, pilot. Your feeble attempts at extortion will not Sorry, work on us. Sorry, just getting the water. You remain at large because we allow it. Because you are such insignificant little pests that we see no need to swat you. But okay. if you wish to risk the ire of the Viceroy, by all means, fire upon an Imperial vessel. Give us a reason to bring the full might of the Galian Empire to bear against your pathetic fleet. Bastards! Gentlemen, surely the fact that you have such limitless resources at your disposal gives you all the more reason to spare some few coins for the less fortunate. All talk, just as I thought. Come, let us away. I have no time for this rubbish. Okay. So I guess we have to, uh, you know, avoid Imperials on the way. Savages to be ruled or slaughtered. They've always balked at paying the ruby tithe, but they were never so eager to pick a fight. The problem, you see, is that many of my comrades in the Confederacy are of Doman descent. And the acting Viceroy, well, she's none too fond of Domans, to say the least. If we take any action to hinder the safe passage of an Imperial vessel, she'll accuse us of attempting to ferment rebellion and brand us enemies of the Empire, which we can ill afford to be. Like the man said, we're all taught. Okay. And where did the Kojin stand in all this? With the winning side, of course. They're mercenaries to a fault, eager to offer their services without coercion. The Shellback could tell you more, though something tells me he would rather not. Huh, <laughs> he's gone, is he? I don't understand. If the Garleans are causing the Confederacy this much trouble, and if so many of you are Doman to begin with, why aren't you willing to fight back? <laughs> Spoken like a true friend of the Dome and Liberation Front. If you're planning to rouse us with noble words and grand promises, don't bother. We all know what the Imperial Army can do. Compared to them, we're boys with boats. Besides, what ties a man may once have held to his home are forsaken upon joining the Confederacy. We look out for none but our own. Be that as it may, our livelihood is under threat. And the captain will need to decide soon whether we're to go down in a blaze of glory or bow and scrape for crumbs from the Empress' table. All while, our friend the Viceroy continues her purge of Doma's radical elements. I believe she's holding court in one of the fishing villages even as we speak. That she-devil! Her perfidy knows no bounds. She must be stopped. Come, 
Let us find Sullivan and put us here at once. Tell the others that these ones have paid. We all have places to be. Okay, right, so let's talk to good Setsu. So what are we waiting for? Come come, Soroban cannot have gone far. Uh, though now that I think of it, it is passing strange that he left without warning. Mayhap he did not wish to be seen by his Kojian brethren. I doubt he thought to leave us behind, but nevertheless, I it may be prudent to return to his ship, or at least at the Confederate encampment. Cool. Right. So we need to go all the way back to here. As I say, these zones are enormous. So it's going to take a while just to explore the Ruby Sea before we get to uh, Yancia. I'm assuming Yancia is the zone after this. And I'm curious as well when we're going to get to the next dungeon. We've obviously done one so far, the Siren Song. So let's see. If anything, to be honest, I kind of like the fact that I'm exploring this all by myself. You know, that I'm not... Um, I'm not stuck behind a thousand people running from quest to quest. It used to be, always be part of the thrill of MMOs in the past. Of just, I don't know if you guys ever did it, the sort of late nights alone in the dark but just exploring a new world endlessly to all my friends a thousand pardons as you may have guessed i was reluctant to be seen in your company by my red brothers um, ours is a complex relationship i pray you do not misinterpret their actions as a reflection of our allegiances as a whole you understand, uh, Kao may be praised. Too often are uh, shell less quick to judge all Kojin for the deeds of one. Right then, now that our business with Tansu is concluded, we can traverse the Ruby Sea without fear. Noise. So let's get this one. I'm getting the, all the materia because I can basically craft all this gear myself even if, if I want it, so... Uh, the next quest is called To Bend with the Wind. So Suraban is in high spirits. So I shall return to the ship and prepare for our departure. If you have any remaining business to conduct with the pirates here, I pray you do so now. Uh, that reminds me, Mifri, would you be so kind as to inform the Confederates of our plans? The more they know of our movements, the less like we are to be mistaken for another vessel by their comrades. Okie dokie. So obviously, we don't really have to linger in this area because, you know, I don't need to level, I don't need anything. So let's carry on. So, oh, you're one of the Aegean from the beach, leaving us already? Uh, no need to pay the tithe, like Tansu said. On the other hand, if you were to pers uh, peruse our wares and find anything of your liking, we would be glad to sell it to you for a fair price. Okie dokie. Let's carry on. We split. Who needs stairs? So, you have spoken with the Confederates up above then. Excellent. If you are ready to depart, we may do so at any time. All aboard. Let's do this. So, then let us be off. I shall deliver you to the fishing village of Isiru. Or, sorry, Is Isari. Wait, Tansu. Uh, said that Vi Viceroy was holding court in one of the fishing villages, did he not? 
Uh, should Isari chance to be the village in question, we could instantly find ourselves surrounded by Imperial soldiers. I think it's safer to come ashore some distance away. Very well, I know just the place. Interesting, interesting. There will be a time in the future when I eventually have flying unlocked in all these zones. In the distant, distant future. And it is my intention to make my A for current guides. Even if most players have already unlocked it by then, it will always be useful for new players or players catching up. Or people in the future who just level ults and just can't remember where they all are. Anyway, here's Soroban. Like, for example, like, if I make the guide on Mifri, then I'll probably use it on Blue Sideburns and or Re. So, here we are. I am reasonably certain none bore witness to our approach. And with this, I believe I have fulfilled the terms of our agreement. Aye, that you have. Uh, yeah, my deepest thanks, Soroban. Truly, we are blessed to have befriended such a clever and industrious merchant. Oh, you're most uh, too kind, good sir. I know not where you your path may lead, but I wish you the very best, and I hope we shall meet again. Bye. So, we finally arrived in Ophard. All we need to do now is uh, liberate Doma. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, look, daunting though it is, we do have one thing in our favour, the element of surprise. Unlike in Girabania, the Imperials don't know we're here. Admittedly, that may be our only advantage, considering how few of us there are. Well, I expect the Dome and Liberation Front will even up the odds a bit, but before all that, we need to see if uh, this is the fishing village Tansu was talking about. It may well be. I smell ceruleum on the breeze. Okay. Even accounting for the rebellion. Such indiscriminate shows of force seem pointlessly excessive. If only you knew how commonplace such scenes have become. Hmm. Are we too late? Over there, someone's coming. Ah, oh, it's that guy again. And the lady. Wow, she speaks quietly. Come now. You've no That's reason better. to look so afraid. You have lived through a quarter of a century of Gallian rule, remember? Tis better to bend with the wind than stand tall and be broken. Therein lies hope. Therein lies freedom. Ooh. I come before you today seeking affirmation. A heartfelt declaration. You are free to answer me as you see fit, yet even the least among you should know the correct response. Should. A resident of your village, one of your neighbors, mayhap your friend, was detained by the Korjin this morning. They say he was attempting to flee to Kugane. But we both know that simply isn't true, don't we? Have you anything to say? Hmm. 
Bit slow, this one. Is there anyone more sensible among you? Have any of you anything to say? To swear? My lady, I swear to serve the Empire, to do whatever is asked of me, and never disobey. Ah, well said, that man. Of course, it wouldn't do to simply take you at your word. Kill him. Surely you can do that much. He must be guilty of something or other, or he wouldn't have attempted to flee the Empire. I have a family. Kami, forgive me, Kami, forgive me. Rip. Oh, very, very good. I've always had a soft spot for men like you. Next, I want you to shoot those two over there. Too old to work, you understand. A burden on the Empire. We can't have that. But they're my parents. You can't expect me to... Rip. We will show them no mercy. We can't, not now. She's right. They would simply take the villagers hostage. We must consider the wider picture. If we act recklessly, we risk alerting the Garleans to our presence here, making it that much harder for us to work with the local rebels. To say nothing of the reprisals ordinary civilians would be made to suffer. Open your eyes, girl. They are already suffering. Let me go. I am putting an end to this madness. I will approach the village alone and identify myself as a former leader of the rebellion and a known fugitive. They will wish to detain me until they are certain they have learned all I know. Use this time to make your plans. You saw what those monsters did to the villagers. Who knows what they'll do to you, assuming they don't kill you where you stand. We live and die at the pleasure of the Kami. My fate is in their hands and no others. If it be of any comfort, I am no stranger to chains. You can't expect us to stand idly by as a comrade goes marching off to his death. And this is nothing like Kugani. Nor is it like the Reach, Lise. Or the Wall. Let him go. Hold out for as long as you can, but remember, noble sacrifices are to remain an absolute last resort. I wish I could say it won't come to that, but only the gods know how we're going to get you and the others out in one piece. A miracle, perchance. A great tower stands to the north and east. Look to its occupants for aid and succor. Together, you may yet find your miracle. Yep. Now, leave this place. I must go. Oh. Another idiot like all the rest. I'm beginning to think it may be something fundamental. Something intrinsic. Something quintessentially dormant to ignore the simple truth. You can't do a damn thing if you're dead. Enough, Yotsuyu! Oh, well now. 
now. This is a surprise. Hear me, Yotsuyu! Cease this farce! Here and now! And I shall surrender myself to you. Refuse, and all shall answer to my blade. Bring him to the tavern. Would be really interesting if he's like her father or uncle or something like that. She's the just devil child of the family. Okay, let's talk to Elise. So, I hate it as much as you, maybe even more. Every fibre of my being was crying out to intervene, but... Uh, but what's done is done. Gosetsu's gamble has gifted us time we need to find a solution. He bade us seek aid at the distant tower, yes? For want of a better idea, I say we do just that, while taking care to avoid Imperials. Okily dokily. So let's do it. How far do we need to go? Now, I do actually have a mount that I got from the collector's edition. So let me see if I can use that now. Oh, it's an airborne mount. Okay. So it's not a swimming mount? That's really weird. Like, I would have thought you could actually, uh, what's it called? You could actually swim with it. It looked like a sea monster to me. Not unless I need to unlock, like, sea mounting later. But anyway, let's keep going, let's keep going, and let's see what we find. We are getting close to the Azim step as well. We're going to try and get to these um, Aetherites, get them unlocked, just in case we want to quickly go back to Kugane or anywhere else in the game, without having to go so far on foot. Okay, so almost to the shore. Okay, there they are. Here's the Lise. So, we seem to have evaded their patrol so far. What is that tower anyway? I've never seen anything like it. According to my map, we are on Ono Koro. And the tower is known as Heaven on High, a mysterious structure built long ago by persons unknown. Oh gods, listen to me, I'm starting to sound like Alphanode. Next thing you know, I'll be saying things like, Are you doubtlessly, sorry, are you doubtless already aware? That's, huh, over there, do you see it? Hmm. Doesn't look like it's been dead long. Whoever did this, they're uh, a good shot. I can't see a single straight arrow. <clears throat> well, someone's hungry. Wait, that wasn't either of you, was it? Dang it. Calm down, we had nothing to do with... Wait, what am I doing? They can't possibly understand us. Probably not, no. So, time to run, Lise. We save our strength for any that give chase. You too, Mifri. Oakley dokley. So we have to run away. Maybe not. Okay, because this is an outdoor battle, I'm actually going to use my um, chocobo. And uh, let's get our stacks up. And Fist of Fire. Okay, let's do this. Oh. 
far so good. Rip. Okay, now we have to search for Lee's. Okay, these mobs rely on sight. Where is Lee's? I feel like I recognize this place. Okay, here she is. So just imagine if they had taken us by surprise. What a fine ending that would have been to our story. Anyway, I think it's safe to assume that the people at the tower know how to defend themselves. You'd have to, sharing an island with these things. Now all we need to do is convince them to help us. Cool. Obviously, that's a small and easy task. I'm lying. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Confederate sentries. Interesting. Interesting music. So, ah, there's a settlement here. And they've even got their own Aetherite. Wait a minute, I've seen that stand standard before. It was when we met with Tansu, which means this place belongs to... Oh. Cool. Right. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching, and as always, goodbye from me, and goodbye from Mifri. Bye, guys.